Live from the Sheldon Concert Hall, a virtual concert series featuring the 442s. Good evening. I'm Peter Palermo, Executive Director of the Sheldon, and I'm thrilled to welcome you to the first ever Live from the Sheldon, an exciting new partnership between the Sheldon and HEC Media that will bring you the very best musicians from St. Louis and across the country. Now, many of you know and cherish the intimate and unparalleled experience of enjoying a concert from the Sheldon's storied concert hall. Well, now, using the expertise of our longtime collaborators, HEC Media, we hope to capture that magical Sheldon experience and let you enjoy it at home or from anywhere across the globe. This virtual platform will allow us to truly present arts without borders. So now, friends, old and new alike, are welcomed to sit back and enjoy the 442s, live from the Sheldon.
Yeah, I grew up in High Ridge, Missouri, near Hillsborough. I love Jefferson County so much. I, I think it's a uniquely Missouri place. I actually love rural Missouri. Parts of it are, are some of my favorite places in the entire world, and I don't think it gets enough love. Um, and I love the people there. There's a lot of characters in Jefferson County. So I just tried to capture some characters and a little love story that remind me of people I grew up with. And that's all right with me Keep your silver tongue behind your teeth But I know you gotta go So the next round is on me One for the road and two for the bride to be True love in Jefferson County Jefferson County Put your body close And I'll tell you about it Skinny boy named David Nathan Golden hair just off Operation Trying to be the star Of a conical station Little woman just a couple years older Always fine and sometimes sober Woman with the hottest head and the coldest shoulder She said, come down to the little big river 2 a.m. by the little big river Don't bring your brother John or your older sister He didn't show, and that's all right with me He'll come back around if it were meant to be Well, I know you gotta go, so the next round is on me One for the road and two for the man of your dream I don't think he's coming back David Nathan's knees are knocking Walking home with a ring in his pocket One arm to the side so he doesn't drop He said, I'll get the judge if you get the guy Leave me down at the Hillsborough Court show and that's all right with me one less golden harp strumming dead you see but I know you gotta go but the next round is on me one for the road and two for the bride to be Jefferson County True love in Jefferson County 
Just pull your body close and tell me about it. Well, just pull your body close and I'll tell you about it. Just pull your body close and I'll tell you about it. The pandemic has shifted our entire landscape. You know, we are all performers. We perform live for people, for audiences, in all kinds of venues. And as of mid-March, that all just went away. So we were forced into a completely different arena. We went online into a virtual sphere, where instead of making music together all in the same room, we were all recording our parts and adding them onto one another. And it was really fun for us. You know, at that time, uh, in March and April, um, we were so starved for musical outlets and for us getting a chance to make music together, even in that virtual environment, was really wonderful. When we first started the quarantine, um, Adam wrote this song called I'm Bored. Cause I'm bored. And he sent us charts for it and he recorded himself playing it and then he said, okay, you guys each record your own parts to this. I'll put it together and we'll, we'll release it as a video. And it was one of the first of many of those projects that we did. And it, it got a lot of following because people weren't really doing that much at that point. Uh, musicians weren't really releasing that many videos. And so this is just kind of a funny tongue in cheek song. I need something else to do. Cause I'm bored. We've always had this mix of instrumental features because we have these virtuoso musicians. So, right, you want to feature them. And we've had a mix of those and then songs that I write that are stories that are important to me. And uh, we've always had other people sing those, but during the pandemic and even before then, I kind of decided like, ah, I think I want to take that on and sing them myself. So that we're not reliant on wonderful vocalists, Aaron Bodie and Brian Owens and, and a few other people that we've collaborated with over the years. But I really wanted to be able to continue writing songs that the 442s can play. Um, and so that's, that's the set we put together is all the new stuff that I've been writing, both featuring our amazing instrumentalists and these new stories that I wanted to tell. I don't mind every time 
I don't mind. This set list really does showcase a lot of our newer material that Adam has written for us within the last year or two. Um, and a lot of it will be featured on our new album that is coming up uh, within the, the 2021 year. Um, but there's also a couple of our standards um, that we really, really love and that our audiences have grown to love. Um, one in particular is The Caves and the Cold. This is a piece that the 442s have been playing for a long time. And uh, typically we put it on a set list where we have only been playing acoustically and have not began to sing yet. And all of a sudden, after the first minute or so of this piece, we break into four part male singing, or five part, excuse me, male singing. Um, and when we do this in live concerts, it always takes people by surprise. They're like, oh my gosh, they sing too? What? Um, and that's always a really fun experience as a performer because they're not expecting that. Um, but this is a tried and true tune of ours um, that was inspired by a location in northern Minnesota, which is my home state. It's kind of a, a call back to the wild.
of ashtrays is interesting because it's a story um i was on tour in italy so when you name instrumental songs sometimes it's just fun to come up with a name that seems to capture some kind of vibe of the song right so that one i wanted to come up with some kind of like fun name that that to me meant some kind of relief which is what the music feels like to me and uh, it reminded me of a story. I was on tour in Italy and it was uh, about a month after Italy had just banned smoking inside, which if you've ever been to Italy, you realize that everybody smokes cigarettes, right? And so the country was uh, devastated by this new regulation. And uh, it was a really weird concert that happened at like a disco. We were like a jazz group and it was playing at a disco and nobody that was there was interested in us at all. And as soon as we stopped playing, a DJ went in with like a unk, 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 and the entire place just lit up and we were like, okay, well, we're done here. And uh, anyway, the venue owner then felt bad for us. So took us out to uh, a, a bar that had, this was in Parma. So it had the most amazing ham and cheese just served on these big platters. Somewhere around 1 a.m., the owner of this little bar in Old Town Parma goes and locks the door and goes back to the back and comes out with an armful of ashtrays signifying that we were now shut down and we were all going to smoke cigarettes illegally inside of his bar as we ate ham and cheese. And the entire place just erupted in applause and, you know, everybody was thrilled. Uh, and it was, it was a very memorable sense of relief that uh, all of these Italians could finally smoke inside. They used to say, we're like dogs now. We have to go out in the cold like dogs to smoke. <laughs> they were so upset. <laughs>
is prompting us to look at how we interact with people. You know, not everybody, even in the best of times, can get to a concert hall or can get to a music venue um, or may not have the means financially to do so. And so I think we as artists need to find ways to be more accessible to a wider swath of our community. And this has been a trial, a, a cold, hard truth. There's a dialogue happening now, which is really exciting. And I think it's going to help all of us to kind of raise the level of this entire virtual um, experience. And I don't think it's going to go away. You know, once the pandemic is kind of under control and there may be a vaccine and we are able to be in groups uh, in concert halls that are enclosed, um, I don't think that this part of it should or will go away. I think it's going to be a new part of, of what we are and what we have to offer so that we can, of course, reach more people of diverse areas and communities. Bright white back in the middle of June. And new glasses for a better view of your eyes. A better view of your
Dressed up for a fancy night without calendar, tall for pick and fire. How come I never see the mess I made in your eyes? I don't see it in your eyes. Such a hold on me I could barely breathe For when everyone else has to squint their eyes Just to see the things you see in me Ladies and gentlemen, on viola, Mr. Michael Casimir Such a hold on me It knocks me off my feet and They'll never see the things you see In me Oh, oh, oh. Somehow you really have such control of me I could guarantee Oh, that everyone else has to squint their eyes Just to see the things you see In me There's no great answer right now for how to how to navigate this as a musician. As John Lennon said, you give me a tuba and I'll come back and have something for you. You know, it's like you, you got to do what you got to do. Maker's going to make. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. All your life You were only waiting for this moment to arrive Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see 
all your life You were only waiting for this moment to be free Blackbird fly Oh, blackbird fly Into the light of a cold dark Fender's folk song, which is the final tune on the set, is one that is really beloved by our audiences. And it's some people say it's their favorite tune of ours. It is a very simple song, but it is a heart-wrenching melody. Um, Adam really just created something um, that is so tender and so personal. Um, and it's, uh, it is one of those pieces that allows you to sit back and just close your eyes and just have a moment of peace and respite, which I think, especially during these times, is incredibly important. Thank you. 
Thank you.
want to say thank you to the Sheldon for hosting us. It's one of the most amazing places to play music in the world. We thank you all so, so much and are so excited to partner with HEC Media uh, and the Sheldon Concert Hall for this wonderful, wonderful project. Mm -hmm.